I can't let Tinks have a word. Tinks. No. Okay, no? Hold on. Be 100% Tinks. upset for her. Tinks. Right. Yes. Don't have them. Huh? Okay. Yeah, don't let her up. I don't even know who she is, so there you go. I, I, I'll talk to her after. Okay. Yeah. Okay, right, okay. Um, okay, right. Sorry, Tinks, to cut you short. I do apologise. Well, there you go. Katie, do you want to quickly say hello? Um, okay. Lindsay, hello. Hello. Lindsay, come up, but please don't ask any questions on, okay? Oh, no, she's gone. I think. Hello. Hello, Lindsay. Hello, Katie. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Are right? you all right? Yes, not too bad. How are you? Oh, good, thank you. Glad right. to see you guys back. Well, listen, what we're going to do... For one night only. Okay. It's one night only tonight. There's okay. A reason, there, there's a reason why we're up here tonight, okay? Um, okay. There's some things we can say, some things we can't say. What we Can we elaborate yet, Jill, or not? Um, a bit of background on Jill and myself. Okay, so for, for reasons that be, we thought it'd be good to step back off here for a little while. Um, problem is, if, when we're coming to the lives, there's a lot of people... Sometimes with the best intent, try to take the law in their own hands. And obviously, as you're aware, sometimes we don't get with people. Certain people in here don't get on with each other, okay? Okay. And the best thing to do with that is uh, ignore them, in my opinion. Okay. There are certain people, and it's none in these boxes now, um, who then try to take the law in their own hands and message people and directly and make threats. And we have to separate ourselves from all of that. Okay. So I think the reason we step down for the site. Um, now. But just for, this, for the minute, sorry. Can I, no disrespect, but can Lindsay and Kate come off? We're going to drop this for now, Lindsay, and we'll bring you up in a bit. Is that okay? Yes, yes, so, no problem. All right, guys, thanks for coming in, and we'll have you back in a bit. Yes. Katie, lovely to see you. Yes. Katie, I'll ask a quick question. I need joking. I'll cut you off. There you go. I love it. <laughs> as unfair as it is. Oh, it's your mate, Katie. Right, okay. Um, is Tinks what I think Tinks is, Jill? Yeah. Right, okay, fine. And you've, 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 you've told Tinks everything, yeah? Yeah. Okay, fine. Right, so, um, right, a bit of background if we can. So, as you're aware, lots of things going on at the moment. Myself and Jill said a while back, um, you know, things are going on in the background. We can't really say what. Does everyone remember that? And we always said that we would keep you updated as and when we have any information or anything like that, any updates for you. So, we're going to say something now. Well, I'm not going to say, I'll let Jill say something. And, um, yeah, we, we can't answer any questions, so please make what you want of what we say, okay? We can't answer any questions. There's going to be a bit more we come up with, but I'm going to pass it over to Jill. So, Jill, far away. Um, yeah, like Rudy said, we'll always keep you updated on anything that's going on. Um, it's taken a little bit of time, but today it um, has come apparent that two people have been arrested this evening um, and are actually in custody at the moment. Um, what for, we can't tell you at the moment, okay? When, a little bit later on, I'm sure we will come back live and explain all what's gone on. But two people have been arrested this evening. Um, so there you go. Um, so there you are, so, so, so that's that basically. Um, a bit of background, obviously, I've got to watch what I say at the moment uh, for certain reasons. Um, obviously, people have asked me certain questions. There's been rumours, this, that and the other. And rather than me feed the rumours, I have to stay quiet. Again, this will make sense in the end. It all makes sense. Um, yes. What I will say, Jane, please don't ask. I'm going to have to mute. Jane, I'm going to mute you because I've got a feeling you're going to just end up... Um, I'm not going to block you, Jane. I'm going to mute you because I just know sometimes you have a habit of putting your foot in it. Sorry, darling. I'll mute you for five minutes. Um, right, so so that, that that's that. Now, a bit of background, obviously. Um, certain people have supported. Certain people have supported. Uh, have supported. Okay, let me. I'm gonna, I can say this right. So, some really abhorrent things have been done. Some nasty things. Okay, and um, you know, s certain despicable things have been done, basically. And I can't really obviously say what they are. Uh, again, in time, we'll be able to say everything, you know. Um, but some really nice things have been done. What is quite what is quite horrible, okay, these people have been endorsed by a lot of people on here, okay, who supported these people, all right. 
Um, and it's quite interesting to see who wants to support these sort of people after they find out the things they've done, which are absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So, who's, who's had my mum? Who's Yellow Cow? Rudy. Rudy. Yeah. Rudy, I've just got a call. I've just got a call. Two seconds and I'll be back. Okay. Right, Yellow Cow, I don't know who you are, I'm afraid, so I can't. Well, I've just asked who the mum is. I did. I, I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so there's certain things. I'm sorry. Yeah, so there's certain things we can and can't say. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm just going to call you Kay. So you didn't say your name. Right. Tinks. Um, bear me. Can you bear me a second? Is that all right? Give me a second, guys. I'm going to be back in two seconds. You lot just. Apologies, Pet. Was everyone still here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, right. Um. Yeah. Listen. I could, so. Okay. So, I don't know if you're up to date or whatever. Um. That's that. Tinks. I think you're gonna get a call. Someone's gonna call you shortly. Um. There you go. So yeah. Like I say, we've you know. Okay. I've lost my train of thought here. Okay. So where are we? So yeah. So, a bit of background. So I'm trying to read the comments. People, if I don't read the comments, I do apologise. They're going a bit too fast. And my wife tried to put together a kitchen. Um, and, and Jill's just, just disappeared. So, yeah, there you go. So are we all up to date so far? So a little bit of background once more. Obviously, we can't say any names yet, but two people who have, you know, done some really nasty um, things are in custody tonight. Can't say why. Can't say what for, can't say who they are, but two people. But again, like I say, um, some nasty things have been done and, you know, things are being dealt with the right, the, things are being dealt with the right way, um, the, the legitimate way. It's, it's that simple, basically. Um, again, we had to come off the live because obviously when we go on lives, there are some people who try and take the law in their own hands and myself and Jill didn't want that. So obviously Jill shut down her accounts. I've just come off here because it just wasn't worth coming on here yeah plus we've had a lot going on with our little girl obviously she's been diagnosed autistic so we've got like three autistic kids now which has been a bit of a nightmare um yeah so sorry if i've so i'm gonna just ignore the comments a minute so i'm trying to read the comments at the same time um yeah so basically obviously as you're aware certain people have endorsed these people um and now I'm just quite interested, yeah, and, and a lot of nice things got said, and I've had to bite my tongue because there's been a lot of things I know have been insinuated against me, which, I, again, I can't comment about, but I will at some stage. A lot of hints have been dropped about me, and I've had to keep my mouth shut, um, and I'll keep I'll keep quiet until I can actually, um, you know, I'll keep quiet until I'm actually allowed to say something, which I won't just now. Um, so, yeah, we were every, we just carried on with our lives. We've come off doing lives, and that's why... I hope that makes sense. Um, and we're going to let you take over. Wibble? Hello? I'm sorry about that. Right. I've got Tink's request. What do I do? No. Okay. Yeah, Ruth, what it is, our little girl's two. So we've just had so much. We've just what had it is, our little girl's Am I coming? No. Yeah, so, so that was that. So that's why we've come with the live. Um, but yeah, like I said, yeah, obviously there's, there's a lot going on with our lives personally as well. So yeah, it's one of them sort of things we didn't want to do is do lives. And obviously you've got a few vigilantes who come on here. I mean, look, everyone means well, but sometimes when you've got to deal with things the right way, it's better with, you know. Two seconds. With... Two seconds. 
Oh, there you go. Well, that was great. Well, I'll give you a wibble wibble. Yeah, we did carry it. Yeah, do you know what? I'll, I'll come around to that in a minute, actually. Okay. Um, but diagnosis. What they did, Karen, we saw the paediatrician and she instantly... Yeah, they said straight away, they said, um, what do you call it? She's got um, an autism assessment yeah an autism assessment but they've pretty much said on the on the survey karen it, i think out of the 12 things she scored 10 said she's a good ass. yeah so that's that um but the screen of my other two kids as well because my oldest daughter's autistic as well so it's hereditary sadly so it comes from my gene but there you go it's one of the things um that's that my son is autistic too, low gems but there you go listen it's, it's not it's, it's not my other daughter's done her master's, she lives in South Korea, so I thought it's going to be a big deal. But it's obviously where I'm working and all that, it's affected certain things because I've had to juggle. Um, yeah, you do, Josie, don't you? But yeah, so, Jill, if you're coming in, I'll have you back up, but you can't keep coming in and out of our lives like this, Jill, otherwise we'll just ban you. It's people <laughs> that are on my WhatsApp that are in here, I'm here. <laughs> Stop, stop ringing me. Everybody's ringing me. Okay. So basically, a long story cut short. So as everyone up to date, what's going on? Without saying any names, that's that. But I spoke to Jill a while ago. I'm going to chat, and we we can talk about this now. Jill, said, well, there's no point of standing on the lives because there were certain people again saying no names on here or pulling anyone up, but they started messaging certain people. Make you know, saying silly threats to indict to all different parties, and that's not for us. If you're going to do something properly, it's better to do things the, the legitimate way than the, do you know what I mean, than the sleazy way, basically. But there's a lot of people want to, and I know some people mean well, but saying send, sending silly threats to people and things like that is same with. There was a threat made, wasn't there? Yeah. She, she thought it was made. Yeah, no, certain threats were getting made. And I, said, and I said to my wife and I said to Jill, you know what? People going in other people's lives making threats and we're going to be the ones who are going to be held accountable. So, we, you know, Jill shut down her profile. I come off and that was that basically. We've just, uh, what's the word? Just took a step back and that was the best thing to do that way. If we're off the site, you know, nothing, nothing can be... Because we, yeah, and we didn't want to jeopardise anything that was actually going on, did we? No, which is that? So there you go. This Colgate Wendy keeps asking questions. Who is she? Uh, Colgate Wendy. Oh, Colgate Wendy. Do you know? Her? No, I don't. Um, she's more than welcome to come up if she likes to. She does message me daily, actually. That's she, yeah. I'll bring her up. Colgate Wendy, do you want to come up? Um, I'll cut if anything. Un 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 um, everybody needs to understand that there's yeah, really can't, up, really can't say a lot of stuff at the moment. There's things I can't say at some yeah. stage, I will, but that now's not the time, and I'm not going to elaborate. So if you've heard, I'm just not even going to entertain. I can't entertain a conversation for legal reasons. I can. You can, yeah. But not regarding myself or anything. So. No, 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 no. Does, does Colgate, when do you like to come up? I've invited her, so if she wants to, she's the girl, she's welcome. So I, I just don't think, I've never seen her in it before, so I don't know who she is. But Wendy, if you want to come up, you want to work up. But like I say, there are certain people... You know, I've had a lot to say. Obviously, we don't watch your lives, but people message you, send you bits and all that, and you, you, you ignore it. But there are certain people, um, certain people, you know, certain uh, who have a lot to say, and I'll be very interested. What they, once this all comes out, I'll be very interested in what they've got to say. Um, there you go. So all I'll say is, you know, the right always comes out in the end. You can lie, you can do bad things, but you, you can't do it forever. You can't do bad things forever, you, you know. And it is nice to know that we're all going to sleep in our... Sam, I don't know what you're laughing about. I can't elaborate or confirm. There you go. So I don't... That's Sam Payne. Yeah. No, Wendy, no thank you. Just interested how you know. Who is this Wendy? I've no idea who she is. Wendy, I, I don't know who you are, and I don't know what if you know what we're talking about. Um, listen, I'm not really group. I've got no idea. Wendy. I don't think this is the life for you. As you tell me daily, I need to get a life. So I suggest you get a life and move on to the next life. Um, Thanks for yeah, popping up here. You're more than welcome to talk. Yeah. Uh, my, Thanks oh, for popping in. All right, Wendy, I'm gonna, if you want to leave, you're more than welcome. The guys, no one, give Wendy group, please don't abuse her or be nasty. She's done nothing wrong to me. So, yeah, please don't be horrible to her, okay? Yeah. Well, well done, bro. So my missus is putting the kitchen together for Littlin, so. <laughs> uh, Wendy, yeah, you're more than wanting to leave. 
yeah, so that's so that's that's what happened. So obviously people asked me what happened to Wibble when I said she'd uh, been kicked off here. She wasn't kicked off here at all, but I know if I said um <laughs> she got kicked off, if I said well, kicked off the site, I know everyone would leave her alone. It was a kind of the thing as uh, as well, seeing what other people would say. Um, you know, to where all my accounts had gone. They're, they're just all hidden, that's all. N none of my accounts, I haven't lost any. They're just all hidden, um, which for the time being is the best thing to do. Um, I've been watching from afar still, don't worry, I'm still about, um, but it was just the best thing for, the, for both of us to do at that time. And understand as well, when I do a live, for example, I, I don't have been in a position where I do a live then someone else goes on live and then they say, oh, because he was on, because I'm on the live that day, if someone then sends people abuse, it gets put to me. So I thought, if I'm off the site, I can't be pulled in. I can't be put in out of the things. And the best thing to do is step back. Obviously, there's been lots of messages, you're okay. Yes, life goes on. And you just get on your life, basically. But um, like I've always said, I was taught to be cautious and I like to keep things all level and square. So, um, yeah, well, that's not speak. quite true. You're Rudy. I am Rudy. <laughs> but there you go. But look, like I say, you know, as I've learned with TikTok, it's meant to be fun. There are some, there can be a bit of abuse thrown back with and forward sometimes. But I do believe, you know, there are certain people who take things a little bit too far. And, um, I think, you know. Yeah, I, I think we've, for everybody at our not our little group, but our group, we've all become quite close, haven't we? We, we do on lives and everything else. I know it's not the same at the moment because we're not coming live. We will get back to that. But even when all of this is over, you know, we've always said that we'll probably still pop up on a live and do it because we've, we've all kind of got close. The one thing we'll just say to people, just be really, really careful about what you're saying, whether you're messaging them, just be careful what you're saying at the moment. Don't be doing our behalf. Oh, don't absolutely not. Don't, don't worry that. about we, us. We don't need that. This is the one thing we don't need. Um, Carry on raising that awareness a hundred percent, but just be careful what we're saying, um, that it doesn't, you know, go against us. Absolutely. Um, so there you go. Right. So that's, the end of that guys um what i was going to say so look guys we're not, there's no if people want to can we have people up we'll have some people up like i say we're not going to be talking about anyone in particular okay so, so please don't road. ask any questions <laughs> if that's okay but like we did say when as jill said when we had an update on certain things we'd say um i know technically it's not really an update but yeah um like i said like like i said uh, as Jill just said, two people have been pulled into custody and arrested. We can't say who. Um, that wouldn't be fair to say so. And I'm sure at some stage, all I can say is some horrible things have been done. And um, from what I've heard through the grapevine, some horrible things have been done by certain people to certain people. And I think, uh, you know, justice will take its place. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, people's actions, are, they have to deal with the consequences Absolutely. for actions, and that's in a legitimate it. Way, in a legitimate way. Absolutely, and that's threats, what's happening. You know, not in a way of threats, not in a way of... Not in a way no. of and not, how can I put this? Not in a way of saying you're going to sit around someone's, someone's, around someone's house, not in a way you're going to do something horrible to somebody. This site isn't about that, okay? So there you are. At the end of the day, this is the time where we're trying to stop it completely. Not yeah. just stop it for a week or whatever or a couple Sam, of times. Coming up. Days. Hello, sure. Sam, you're coming up. Please Hi. limit what you say. Hi. No, I was just going to say, did you watch the match? It was fantastic, wasn't you know it? What? It wasn't bad. Yeah, oh, it was, God. It was, it was, it was, well, I forgot how funny. boring you are, Rudy. Now we're going to talk about football. No, 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 I no, can't no. Hold say no, anything no. else. I'm going to talk about the football. No, Sam, <laughs> Sam, Sam no, this, is, this is probably the most excited I've ever heard. This is Sam in a very excited <laughs> mood. Um, well, I anyway. can't stop laughing. When Hayley was pregnant, was you pregnant Luna when we watched the, uh, the, yeah, the missus, the last watch a penalty shoot at, the missus was pregnant in the Euros. Oh, God. Girls, and we watched when we lost. So tonight, so you've got to watch a penalty, Hayley didn't watch any of the match, but she watched a penalty shoot out of me. But what a great <laughs> penalty shoot at. So we've watched that. Um, yeah, and I've just put a 10 on Turkey to win tonight. And I think they win. I don't know if they're still winning. I don't know. But they were winning the last time I looked. Yeah, there you go. All you, all you have to do is just jump in the box and talk about football, not about 
stations or R and S or nothing like that with the uh, arrestable God knows what and all that. But yeah, the penalties were good. Sam. Absolutely, Sam. But what what I will say though, what I can say, I, I can say the minions, who've, who've, you know, the minions who've um, the minions are really nasty and join in. It'd be really interesting to see what happens in the future. So there you go. Um, <laughs> this would be really interesting. So, you know, um, and you know, you know when people are nasty, uh, nasty, you know, nasty right. people get arrested. So there you go. Um, yeah, you know, no, I've looked a bit. Then. It's like they always say, the lesbian always has the last laugh. Oh, for God's sake. No, you do it. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> I haven't missed that. <laughs> right, um, we're not going to talk about Wibble's sexuality either. A bit of a um, well, Now it's time to put out. Wibble's had to go to cancelling because, um, I, I shouldn't really say Wibble, but so Wibble um, <laughs> has written a memoir. Of her, of her lesbian experiences. No, actually, can I tell you? I'm going to tell you mine and Rudy's conversations at the moment. Rudy calls me for a wellness check. He does. Yes, and what is it? How many today? How many today? What, your wellness checks? <laughs> oh, parcel. None. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you. St- no, two happens today, Jill. No, no, one come. The kitchen. Hold on my right. second. I fed them. No, I, I, I two happens with the parcels. No, she had one. Oh, no, but you had a parcel today, didn't you? Mm-hmm. So, so just to, to the room to let you know, <laughs> someone needs to think about parcels. <laughs> and she likes to get me through her parcels for us. Every time I get the door, no, she. Yeah. But I have to take the parcel to the shop for her, and I'm, I'm starting to get a bit piddled off with it. Um, but today she tried to get me to do a parcel, and I didn't do it. But usually, I get three or four parcels to take to the post office when the missus every day. Yeah. I'm getting a bit tired of it now. Yeah. But I wasn't allowed to laugh today. Oh, very quickly, did, any, did anyone vote? Did anyone vote? Yes, I did, yes. Did you, did you get the MP you wanted, Sam? No, I didn't, no. Oh, okay. I'm lucky. Football <laughs> politics. Now we're going to go into a real deal, aren't we? No, do you know, funny enough, well... People, if you go to the Marks and Spencer's garage after nine o'clock, their sandwiches are quarter price and they're really decent sandwiches. So we're in last night and I've got about ten sandwiches. And I can't eat them all. They're like fifty p. Oh, Mrs. So Barrel Cakes is in here. Barrel Cakes, would you like to come up? Let's get let's get Kate up. Oh, she's got a lovely thing in her garden. Oh, Barrel Cakes. Yeah. Barrel Cakes, got a lovely thing in your garden. If, if you know that, mate. Is that a lovely thing? Lovely. Oh, From one oh, lesbian yeah. to another, she has a beautiful garden. Yeah, she mentioned something about that today, didn't she? She was going on about summer. Was it yesterday's live or today's live? That lady that we do not talk about. Well, we won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about it. And... I nearly wet myself then. <laughs> All right, barrel cakes. All right, babes, how you doing? Not too bad. I've heard you've got a fella. You're getting smashed about. Uh, yeah, no, me and Mike. Smashed about as in like, as in like he's making eggs, scrambled eggs for in the mornings and all that. No, it's uh, me and Mike. Is it you and Mike, is it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I've heard you've got a man and you're like living the, the dream at the moment. Yeah, Mike. Is it Mike? Didn't you hear her the other day? Yes. We, we, we will not be talking about that. I don't know who the her is, whoever you think the her is. Well, Mike's we ex-girlfriend said <laughs> that I'm with Mike. Right, well, if you are, I wish you both happiness. Yeah, we are. And here he is. Right, Wendy's still in here, so Wendy, is that... I'm going to... Sorry, Wendy, you're going to be uh, blocked. Sorry about that. Right, I'm going to block her. Bye, Wendy. Bye. Bye, Wendy. Have some fun with your Colgate. So yeah, so everyone well, my MP just made it in and I need to, I voted for the MP not the party. And uh, my MP won by fourteen hundred votes, which was a bit of a result really. I did the same. I thought Nigel Farage is a right laugh, so I voted for him. You know, yeah. he doesn't come under your thing though, does he? He what, babes? He don't he, he won't stand in for you though, was he? Well, I voted for his party because Oh, okay. Looked... Would it, would they come second where you are, didn't they? Um, no, they came third, I think. But, uh, vote, though, so, it? It's all about party, isn't it? It's like the Conservative Party, the yes. Reform Party. So I thought if you were going to a party, 
who would you want to be at your party? Nigel Farage. Nigel Farage. Farage. He'd have a right laugh. He'd have a little drink, wouldn't he? I, I would have gone reform. I would have yeah. gone reform. But the only reason Re- is because my MP, he helped to sanction my daughter. I No, I'm not. I'm not a councillor, Noella. I helped sanction me and my wife's daughter. We owed him the vote, so we did that. Well, that's nice of you, but I was all about the party. And me. Well, well, <coughs> I'm, I'm with you, be, Kerry. Well, I was all about the party. Oh, was, uh, we, we were all about the party. It is all about the party. So we like the party. It'd be the right. best. If, it, if um, Boris was in power, I'd vote for, well, I did vote for him before, because I thought he'd be good at a party. Yes, he would. He's so, you know, I vote for whoever I'd like to go to a party with. But you need to be free to go to a party. Um, Mike. <laughs> No, because yeah, you, know, you can't be tying the relationship because some partners get jealous and all that, you know. Um, I'm, just, I'm just saying. Um, it's like, okay to go to those parties, though. I mean, like Bonnie, 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 I mean, Bonnie and Clyde. I think I'm like a modern day Bonnie and Clyde. They won't be able to go to the party today. Um, I'm talking about Clyde the monkey out of um, Any Which Way But Loose. Um, Mike, how are you? I'm really well. I'm actual fact, I'm over the moon tonight. You over the moon? What's that? Over the England game? Um, yeah, well, yeah, I was pleased about that. I didn't watch it all, to be fair. I'm not a real big football fan, but um, uh, I, I'm just I'm just high on life tonight. Yeah. All I'll say is sometimes one phone call can make your day. Mm-hmm. It's good to talk. One minute, one minute. No, it's not you. Sorry, Kat, who's got the fluffiness? Hold on. I'm on it, Mike. Let me commute you a minute. Not Mike. I think it's Sam's. Sam, you got the fluffiness. <laughs> no. Lesbian. Hold on. I'm, I'm not a fluffer. I think it's you, Wobble. Oh. Oh, yeah. A bit of Wobble's the fluffer. Well, who's, who's Remy? Block Remy. Who said Block Remy? Who's, why should we block Remy? What's Remy done wrong? No idea. Um, yeah, I'm mute. Everyone who's been muted. Um, so yes. Anyway, so, so that's where we are. So a bit of a diff, a bit of a different um, live tonight, as you're aware. Um, and I hope it will make sense. But if it don't make sense now, I can assure you, it will make sense very, very soon, people. <laughs> being very cryptic, really. Am I not mod on this account, Rudy? Uh, how do I mod you? <laughs> I didn't do it. So I was released, no charges. And then Richard came to pick me up and they got Richard. And then Richard had to do a, um interview. They did make it sound bad, but I promise you it wasn't like that. And then Richard denied the charges, was released, no charges, but there was something else pending. So they're just waiting for that. And that's it, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're at Oakland's. Yeah, that's only down the road. But that was it. There's no drama. Um, so whoever reported it, they shouldn't be arrested now for ways and police time. No, they have to investigate because there is st- still something pending, but it wasn't true. So that that's why... Um, they're going to find out whatever that is. I can't say it. I'm not allowed. But we're not allowed to discuss it on social media. I'm not allowed to mention any names. I'm not allowed to anything. But honestly, it wasn't. It was dramatised to get clout. So everybody went over there and went, Oh, that nigga. No, it really wasn't like that. And i tell you what, and Richard of Atchfia, the police were amazing with me. Um, I was really hungry because I hadn't eaten. And we didn't get arrested yesterday. It's bullshit. We did not. Yeah, my finger, more importantly. My finger's good. Look, it's just got a little bit left to heal. But please don't listen to the drama. It wasn't the way they said it. So we've now took a screen recording of that um, live that Rudy and Wibble Wobble have done. And that's going over to the police today. Look. So the allegations they were saying happened, never happened. It's all for clout, as you know. But when we can talk about it, we will tell you the situation. I think I briefly mentioned it on here before, so I think you have the gist of what's happened. It's just a jealous ex, that's all, on both sides. So me and Richard got um, a NFA. I can mention Mike Butler. 
because Mike Butler was an ex and um, he was saying some really disgusting things about me. So me and Richard got an NFA, which is no further action on um, Mike Butler. So that was one of the allegations. How can Wobble Wobble get away with it? Sit and watch. Mm. Ruins lives, no. Actually, to be fair, it's brought us closer together. What's well, called Jill Holland? Why is it called Wobble Wobble? Her name's Jill Holland. Not playing names anymore. Yeah, we don't. We we're not with the type of person to sit here and go. We're not mentioning names. We're allowed to mention Jill Holland, as we said in the investigation. That's her name. <laughs> yeah, her name's Jill Holland. And actually, her daughter, um, she's got two daughters, and one of them is a trainee lawyer. Wow, wow. And we said that to the police officers, and they were shocked yesterday. Not yesterday, the day before. What's today? Saturday, Friday. They were actually shocked that the daughter allowed her to behave like that, knowing that she was in that reign of work. And honestly, the police officers were amazing with me. Um, I had a medic there as well, because obviously, like, I didn't expect it. Um, and stayed with me all the time. She was amazing. And it was nice to talk about personal life and just normality. But please don't listen to all the shit that it was really bad. It wasn't. Honestly, it wasn't. The police were amazing. Mm. And they were lovely with Richard. Mm. They were talking about the football. Crazy. But the, the only thing that hurt us too was that we wasn't allowed to talk to each other. So I, I had to sit in, I think, it, what was that place called, Rich? Custody. Custody. I had to sit in custody on my own with this lady. Um, I wasn't allowed to communicate with Richard, but that was the only bad thing about it. But obviously that's what happens. I've never been arrested before, so. But apart from that, it weren't a big drama. I think it took, in a maximum, I think it took four to five hours. That was it. It was done. Finished. Over. Richard was outside in the car waiting for me. He got released first. I got released second. And that was it. We went and got some food. Because I was hungry. They gave me this shepherd's pie. She said, are you hungry? I went, I'm really hungry. So she was like, what do you like? I said, can I have McDonald's? She was laughing. What? You arrested? No, not arrested. Don't, honestly, Sam, don't think, oh my God. Like, blow dry my hair it's not it wasn't a big thing like they're making out it really wasn't but basically it was just um questioning that's it <coughs> it wasn't a big deal promise you no one got hurt like everyone made out to be really traumatic no one got hurt everyone was really caring and kind Voluntary? No, it wasn't voluntary. No, 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 no. We had to go in and question. We had to be questioned. It wasn't voluntary. Yeah, we're fine. Honestly, we was getting loads of calls saying, are you all right? And was like, I didn't even know what was going on, to be fair. Four or five hours, it was over. Morning, Kaz. How are you? It's done. I'm lost. Haven't been on ages, so I'm sure what's happened. Oh, don't worry about it. Honestly, Rebecca, it's just... What's all... It's all about interview. Oh, my God, you and Richard are back. Yeah, me and Richard are back together. Richard, sort your snoring out, geezer. <laughs> He's laughing. Right, let's just drop it then. That, like, we don't need to discuss it now, because obviously, pending investigations. Just finish it now. We, we don't need to talk about it no more. But, you know, let them get their clout. That's how they're going to get their clout. But apart from that, yeah, all good. <laughs> Melly Moo, long time no see. Anyway, I get married on Saturday. Oh, you do, Jules. Oh, my God. Amazing. Is it a big wedding? <sighs> I love a wedding. Do you, Rich? Yeah. Not that we got there yet. <laughs> do you reckon we get there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. No, very intimate. Oh, how do you sleep without blackout curtains? I don't know. <coughs> Is that not normal then?
Good morning, Di. Is that not normal sleeping with blackout? Oh, Sasha, I miss this about you, both being back together. My little man's back. He's back in the big bed. <laughs> Haven't had my kiss on the head this morning. Oh, I can't sleep without the room being cool. And, oh, I always got the windows open. Hi, cutie. So tell us about you two getting back together. Oh, no, we've just done that. We've been talking about that since like half six. Tell Richard, get that breakfast on. We're actually going out for breakfast. You get to wear your dress again. Yay. You bloody deserve happiness. I do, he don't. Do you? Where's my kiss on the head? You I'll always give me a kiss on the head. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Are you tired? Yay, back together. Mm -hmm. Is this the man you was marrying? It is Kirsty. Well, I hope so. Are <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, you? So, yeah. Or did I just meet you in the club last night? <laughs> <laughs> you was the one that nicked me three quid. Oh, yeah. Someone nicked three quid off me yesterday. <laughs> so we went... <laughs> it is funny, though, isn't it? So, <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you, soulmates forever. So we went into the clubhouse yesterday um, and... <laughs> I put five pound coins because we love playing pool. How's your crazy friend? I've got loads of crazy friends. So I put five pound coins on their thing. So I went to the toilet. Richard went to the bar. I had a pink gin and he ordered me a big double cheeseburger. Yes, true friend, I did, yeah. So oh, see what I mean? What people make stories up. I've only just said about three quid and then they say, I'm not getting arrested over three quid. Don't be silly. <laughs> blocked him anyway so i went to the toilet richard come back and um the pool table wasn't working okay so we was talking to another couple hi mo we was talking to another couple we was just talking about life like what they've done as jobs and stuff and i went oh shit i left my money on the other pool table so i went over do you lift weights oh god there's another block coming up Um, and I went over and there was only two coins left. I was like, Rich, did you take the three quid? He went, no. And then two little ginger kids come round. I'm here to mod, okay. Fake accounts, innit? Your skin looks so fab, Sash. So happy for you both getting back together. Proper kid kid. Yeah, but why would they take the three quid? I would have took the lot. Mind you, I come from Romford. Says it all really, doesn't it? <laughs> but um, yeah, they took the three quid. And then they started playing on the other pool table with our bloody money. And Richard went, they've nicked the three quid. I went, ah, let him have it. Fuck it. So he was just mucking about. Morning, Victoria. So we was just mucking about with the um, the couple we was talking to. They were really lovely. Come from South London. <coughs> <coughs> they were really weird. When we was talking to them. Do you, you know when people say, where'd you come from? I go, Romford. But they went, South London. And I said, all oh, right nice place but they didn't go oh we come from wherever south london they just went yeah south london why do people do that oh. do you say you come from essex or do you say you come from clacton yeah. yeah i find that weird when people do that do you we always say south london do you so whereabouts in south london are you from stace <laughs> i should have said that really you always say south london yeah, I find it really weird. Like, they were trying to hide where they live. You say West London. <coughs> Watford. Bermondsey. Originally come from me, my mum. I hate when people say that. It winds me up. Hackney. It's the London thing. Because <coughs> South London think they're hard as nuts. Is that where it is? See, I would say East London. I always say East End of London. Hackney. Do you know Medway in Kent? But I always say Essex. I go Romford, Essex. Melly Moo. Wants to... Ah. Oh. We're going for breakfast, uh, Mel, if you want to meet us in the same place we was going before. Don't say it, because I'll have all my fans turning up wanting autographs, me and Richard. I'm from North London. So I would class North London as Wembley and all round there. I always say I'm Plastic Cockney. West London. Is West London plastic cockney though? I class West London as posh. 
I live over the dark side now in Essex. Where's the dark side? See, I see the dark side as Thamesmead and all round there. Stratford. Tottenham. Yeah, Angel, Islington. I don't really know them areas. You off to the M? No. Not in Hill. See, I class not in Hills posh. The dark side is north side of the Thames, yeah. Belfast. Morning. Oh, I've just seen a troll come in. Wait for it, peoples. So if I block that troll, it's not because I'm hiding anything. It's just that I don't want to do the drama. Angels near my dad. Am I on holiday? I wouldn't be on here if I was on holiday. Mind you, yeah, I would. <coughs> Jane, good morning. Good morning, Sharon. I'm South End. I was born in South End. I was born in Rochford Hospital. Knocked it down there, haven't they? Only made one of me and then fucking closed the place down. Morning, Mrs. Donny. That's a name I haven't seen for ages. Morning, Sarah. Morning, Lisa. Yeah, I am. Canby. See, I like Canby. Morning, Carly. Like a bit of Canby. I love Southend. I haven't been for ages. Morning, user Barb. How you doing, Carly? Sue Fulton. That's a name I haven't seen for ages. I'm originally from Rush Green. Oh, that's only up the road from me. Rush Green. Oh, I'm South Church. Where's South Church? I've heard of it. Never heard of half these places, but then I'm Northern girl. Yeah, these are all Essex and London, Jules. I'm good. How's your, how's your weekend been? Yeah, good. Very bit up and down, bit quiet. Went out yesterday. We went to play pool. Had a burger. Um, went to the Tudor Bar. I was going to play bingo, but I had a bit of a headache. Next to Fort Bay. Ah, oh, Fort Bay's near here, isn't it? I oh, know, that's South End. My name's Crusty Toe. You are not coming in my box with a name like that. That's what I say about the hospital. I was born in similar, but it made it into a nut house. Oh, that says it all, Sam. I'm London Gill. But moved to Hampshire, a lot quieter here. Spent many happy holiday childhoods. I was in Cl Did you? So I don't really like Clacton. I loved it when I first came here, but I don't really like it. I think because I've seen what the people are like. We were talking about that yesterday. I don't really like the people here. Do I know Gravesend? I used to live in Gravesend. Canning Town. I used to work in Canning Town. Beckton Arms. We used to do the karaoke in the Beckton Arms till that bloke got shot. Where would you like to move your lodge? Where would I like? I'd love to go to Devon. Morning, then. I'd like to go to Devon, but it's too much of a trek. It's like a four or five hour journey. Canning Town. Brady's nice. Fenchurch. Have a good day, Stace. Yeah, I'm not doing drama. Let them say what they've got to say. Did you? Well, this is how long ago it was. I used to do the karaoke's in there, Alison. And um, remember the geese that got shot? They come in and went pop, pop. And then we never went in there again. It closed and then it reopened and they wanted us to go back and do the karaoke. I was like, nah, I ain't doing it. So we ended up going to Forest Gate. We ended up getting a good gig there. Yeah. Scary, wasn't it? And we were supposed to do the karaoke that night and we put our mate Dean in there because we didn't want to do it. Not because of anything. We just felt knackered and didn't want to go in there. And then we ended up getting the Princess Alice in Forest Gate. And we ended up doing a Thursday and a, sat sat um, Thursday and a Sunday there. So I used to sing like the first half. And then I used to be a bloke with a bloke called Stevie Presley. And we used to do the 
Um, yeah, I did then. And then when I used to do the first half and used to do the second half, we used to start at eight and finish at two in the morning at the Princess Alice. So I used to be the compare funny girl with a few songs. And then he'd be, obviously, with his name, Stevie Presley, he used to do the, like, the singing. See you later, Sam. I'll give, send you over the new number, babe. Oh, did you? Don't think I could move back now. Nah. You having a little holiday at the lodge? Yeah, Carly. I'm home tomorrow, though. What did I sing? Um, I used to sing everything. I used to do the carpenters, the wind down at the evening, end of the evening. Morning. Um, bit of country. Anything really. Used to, my song was, ah, oh, what's that film? Love Shack. Love Shack, baby. Love Shack. I used to love that song. Absolutely love it. They used to love it too. And I used to sing, sing me an old fashioned song. I could not move back to London when I go to London, visit family. I think the whole world's a bit funny at the minute, isn't it? It's too much craziness going on. Oh, I love Shaq. I haven't even got my Alexa here now, otherwise I'll play it. Did ya? Okay, I did stage lighting for status quo tribute called the Cue the Quo. Did ya? What, for the real status quo? So, I know all you stage lighting people, you know each other. So, my f good friend used to do the, um, I could tell you a few stories, but I'm not going to. Used to be the um, stage lighting production manager for Blue. The things he used to tell me, mm -mm, as you know. Oh, a well, local tribute. Oh, I wrote my mouth then. I should have waited till you answered and then it's too late. But um, he used to be a stage production manager and lighting and um, a music tech for Blue, the band Blue, Simon Webb and all that lot. Especially on the big tour when they went to China. Oh, I could tell you things that happened in China. They're all married now, so I'm going to keep my gob shut. <laughs> Yeah, he was one of my good friends. And as you know, I used to date a famous singer that's never been revealed that I can't reveal. Yeah. It is Richard Snorri and Michelle. That's quite good for you, actually. It's Richard Carley. Rich. Uh. Well, they're saying you're snoring too loud. <clears throat> we are, Carly. See you later, Lisa. Have a good day. You don't need to keep up, Sammy. You're not in it. Thank you, Mrs. Donnie. 232. Jesus, that shot up. We are Mama too. No, he's not. Let him sleep. He's all right. Missed the chapter. So we split up in March. Obviously, we still see each other. I was dating. Um, we sat down and spoke about six weeks ago and carried on talking. And we got back together. That's it. Not a massive chapter. Pretty simple, Carly, like that. Absolutely, Mama too. Everything's good. Had a few little issues along the way, but all sorted. It certainly is, Sam. Today. Hannah.
Ah, oh, thank you. I'm good, thanks, Sarah. Sharon, hiya. Morning, Han. How are you? As Mr. G. I've been on Facebook up for ages, so I've not caught up. Usually, it is yeah, it is Hannah. Um, I keep looking at Mr. G's um, things on Facebook, but I've not been on there for about two weeks. Oh, good. How's the girls? Make sure you're the boss, Sash. <laughs> That's where I went wrong before. Don't worry, invitation's in the post, Hannah. Again. <laughs> Third time lucky. You and Mr. G. Richard. I haven't been on in a while. You seem happy. Yeah, 100%, Joe. Thank you. Morning, Tina. Oh, I love it, can't wait. Let's get the hen back on. Absolutely. Absolutely, Carly. Hannah, I'll text you over my new number. I've had to get a new number because of um, something. I'll explain on the phone. Jealous X. So we've had to change numbers. See you later, Jay. So that's Sam and Hannah. I'll forget once I come off here, watch. So one of our exes um, have got our numbers. That's all I'm saying. So we've changed them. Richard gets his new number today. Yeah, he's good, yeah, as you can hear him snoring away. We're going to get up in a minute, it's 8 o'clock, we're going for breakfast. Morning, Em. We're meeting one of our friends and having a breakfast, snoring away, bless her, as a normal, Hannah. You don't stop, does he? Thank you, pop-in guy. Good. I could have another hour but then it'd be a rush when it eight full seat to nine I've got to be out at ten I'm gonna have a big fat fry up I bash his foot <sighs> Thank you, Susan. Do you know what? We haven't had one negativity comment. I know. No, Carly. Um, I've got about eight accounts on here. So you put Sasha in the search box. Now I've got seven accounts, sorry, because the trolls... And block. So I thought, every one they block, I'm going to make another one up. So I just carried on making other ones up. So I've got Sasha uh, Fontaine Products. I've got Sexy Sharon, S-H-A-R-R-Y-N. Put Sasha in, or Queen Sasha, and it'll all come up. Just add them. And they've all got my link, because the website's coming back on the 22nd of July. www.sashafontaine.com because we've had some really good news. We're going to sell the products again. Back by demand. And um, all the products are ordered. And they're all coming on the 22nd of July. No, I've not gone. I've been here for months. When did I come back in here? November last year. So if you click on my link, quiz host. A couple of years ago, I used to sell my own range of beauty products. Hand cream, shampoo, conditioner, perfume, 
body lotion, shower gel, help me out guys, candles, so um, I, it was just a little passing thing that like I was going to do it again, but I didn't bother because I was busy with my cleaning. So now, all the website's built, www.sashafontaine.com, yeah I'm not doing the toothpaste no more. Toothpaste, I should have a look at doing that again, I might email the company and see if I can do it again. But um, some woman um, called Di on here, she used to sell it. And she said to me, oh, Sash, you should sell it. It's really good. Like, buy it off of the hoodies. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing the clothes range no more. Um, you should sell it. So I did. And then she used to get the amp. Even though she earned commission off my orders, she got the amp. And then she slandered me saying that I was doing this and I was doing that. And I thought, fuck her. So I just dropped the toothpaste. And the toothpaste was really good as well. I can't remember what it was called now. I can't remember what it's called now. Faith. Two faiths in one bed. Joke, by the way. We do have sense of humour. Mandy Brown. Haven't seen that name for ages. Richard. Right, I'm going to go at 8 o'clock. I'm going to have a chill out for half an hour. Then I've got to get showered. Because we're going to have a fry up. We are going. How? How what? Oh, I'm gone. So I'm back next week. Um, I think. What's today? I can't think what day it is. Sunday, Monday, Monday today. Monday today. I'm lost this weekend. I've had such a busy weekend. Um, so I'm going home tomorrow. Richard's back to work. I'm back to work Wednesday. And then I'm back on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday because I don't work Mondays now. Thank you, Nomi. Nomi, hi, Suze. Explain your name because every time I look at it, I go, Nomi, what's Nomi? Is it nom 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 nom? As in eating. Morning, Suze. How are you doing? Eight o'clock, I'm gone. I'm going to go and have half an hour. If anybody wants to know all my accounts, just put Sasha in the search bar or Queen Sasha and it will come up on my profiles. Just add. So after this, I probably won't be live again today because me and Richard are going to go and spend the day together. We're going to go for lunch. Uh, lunch. We're going to go for breakfast with one of our friends and have a catch up. Um, I've seen her, but Richard hasn't seen her for a little while. So we're going to go and have breakfast together. Just plugging the charger in, sorry. Um, so we're going to have a catch up. And then we are going to go to, don't know where we're going, a friend in, friend in or Brightling Sea or somewhere. Go spend the day together on the beach. I fancy the beach today. Gaza. Gaza, ain't seen you for ages. Got to do with you. Hi, Maz. How are you doing? What's weather like? Sunny. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.